got to pay for mentorship, whatever you got to do. Yeah. Um, so in terms of acting, how, how did how did you decide to go to like uh, London's Identity School? Like right. how, how did that come? How did you decide on that school? Yeah. So um, with acting, uh, so like I, I noticed like British actors, like, you know, they was getting a lot of roles like of, of, of in our in our show in our like American based shows, like, you mm -hmm. know, uh, even back then more so. Uh, and so I was just like, oh, let me learn how they learn. And so there, I was gonna go to London to actually like, you know, train, yeah. study, and learn see. how to do the accent. Yeah, Wait, see, see oh. what the hype is about because they say, you know, there's like this thing of like they're better trained actors or whatever. Yeah. That's what they say. But they had opened up an LA branch, and so they like their school. Whoever was the head of it, they they came to LA and they opened up a school here, and they you know it was supposed to be like the British teachers teaching uh, Americans okay. that way. So I was like, all right, let me go to this school and. You know, I learned some different things that are, uh, you know, different from American class, like voice and movement mm -hmm. uh, classes. Like acting is so complex. It's not just like reading a line. Like they have classes specifically like just for like, you know, your po your posture. Like if you're playing yeah. a certain role, like if you're playing a more superior role, you would probably stand more upright with your head high uh, mm -hmm. or or you would talk more slower. Like you're not rushing. You like basically like people waiting on you or even the way you walk your movement, like if you were rich or poor or depending on your your class as whatever role, you you know, the way you would stand, the way you would project your voice. Mm -hmm. It was like all this different stuff where it was like, um, it was like different. So I was like, it was it was a cool experience to like learn that. Yeah, for sure. So, okay. So you you decide, is is that what happened first? You, you started doing, you know, um, your skits, your comedy and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then um, you decided to go to uh, acting school or was that like... I went to a lot before identity. I went to a, a bunch of different. So when I moved here, I took acting classes, and that's mm -hmm. something that you can always take. You don't necessarily have to go to like college for it. Mm -hmm. You can take acting classes here. Like they have a bunch of them. It's very. It's it's a few. It's few of them that are actually good, and you know you learn something from. And then there's some who just like money grabs or whatever. But mm -hmm. I think I. Uh, it was like a combination. It was like an amalgamation of things. Like I would I would take acting classes, like different like comic like improv classes mm -hmm. so, so I can think on my feet. Yeah. Um I would take drama classes, scene study classes, different like acting classes. And then also I would like make skits. Uh you know, it was at the time it was like, oh let's you know, about going viral years ago. It was like, all right, let's make a skit, quick minute, you know, quick form, uh stuff like something like the time is always changing. Like yeah. uh whether it be 15, 30 seconds, one minute, like as 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 social media changes, like people attention spans get shorter. So it was like, how quick can you be funny? And mm -hmm. I used to always like, all right, what's trending today? Exactly. Let me make a skit about this. Yeah. You know, it go viral, go in the shade room and go all, you know, it's all this stuff. So I did that for a while. And then at some point I like, I was like, oh, I don't really want to be seen as like uh like when you do acting, they say the skit nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or the social media actor. Yeah. yeah. And it's weird because it was a time like maybe five years ago where every time it was like all about like your social media following when you audition it. Yeah. It was like how many Instagram followers do you have? And every time I tried to hold back of like, nah, that's not what I'm trying to do. It was like every time I lose a role is to somebody who was had a social had media a following. Follow. Yeah. And they would make skits and stuff. So I'm like mm -hmm. I think at some point, like, people kind of, like, pivot from that. Like, it was one guy who successfully did it. His name is Melvin Gregg. He, like, used to do a lot of skits, um, Vine, and all of that. And then and then some at some point, he booked roles on TV shows, and he, like, completely pivoted to, like, you know, getting rid of that. Like, he got to where he needed to be. So now, yeah. he, mm -hmm. now he, he's booking everything. He's in all types of shows and movies. He's on Snowfall, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. and, but he is extremely hardworking. Like, you know, he, like, built his own studio. Like literally, like years ago, of like, yeah, of like, so he can create his skits and, yeah. and produce them and direct them. And I would say that that definitely taught me how to like make, uh, you know, be a producer, director, writer, all in one. Like mm -hmm. I would do all of that, you know. Yeah. Going back to um, acting school and like taking those classes, what's been like a, a lesson you learned from that time frame mm -hmm. that you still take with you? Um, something I learned from that time frame, I think like. The best, the best class I took was improv class, and like it was just like to think of my feet. Like they say, like the the number one fear of humans is public speaking, mm -hmm. and so I always like it's it's always good for people to like take even if you don't want to pursue acting, like for you to like think on your feet, whether it be a job interview, whether somebody approaches you in life, yep. it's just like the ability to literally like have one word thrown at you or something and just create a whole world from it. Mm -hmm. And so that's probably been the best or most useful class I've taken, and you know, and yeah, it's like. Um, you know, uh, it was a it was a quote by one of my uh, uh, acting commercial acting class. His name is Killian. He said, "Like, uh, take a leap of faith. If if God don't catch you, he'll teach you how to fly." You know. Mm -hmm. So you know, sure. you do that. Yeah. 
That's a fire quote. Yeah, so um, in terms of acting, before we get into some other stuff, uh, 